Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back to answer your questions about the weather. Today we're going to talk about one of the oldest forms of trying to reliably predict the weather, more or less, and that is by measuring the amount of air pressure over a given location. When we're talking about air pressure, we're talking about the amount of weight that's being exerted on a given location by the Earth's atmosphere. And you have to remember that the Earth's atmosphere is about 300 miles thick. So you have a lot of material way above you that's constantly pushing down on you. During your local weather forecast, you probably heard your local meteorologist refer to air pressure measurements as the barometric pressure. And that's because we use an instrument called a barometer to take those measurements. In the United States, we measure air pressure in inches of mercury. In other parts of the world, we use millibars. At sea level, the average air pressure is about 29.92 inches of mercury. That works out to about 1013.25 millibars. Now, since this is measuring air pressure, if we were to convert that over to a measurement of weight, that works out to about 14.7 pounds per square inch. Now, if you were to go higher in elevation, the air pressure actually decreases. And that's because you're decreasing the amount of the Earth's atmosphere that's above you. If you go lower in elevation, the reverse is true. So if you go lower in elevation, the atmospheric pressure actually increases because you're increasing the amount of the Earth's atmosphere that's above your head. And that's the reason your ears pop when you're going up or down in an airplane or when you're climbing or descending a mountain. And I said earlier that measuring air pressure is actually one of the oldest ways that we've been able to reliably predict the weather. And that's because as you get higher pressure, you generally get sunnier weather. As you get lower pressure, you generally get more stormy weather. If you have an at-home barometer, you probably have a needle on the dial that you can adjust. And that needle allows you to mark the current barometric pressure. If you notice that the barometric pressure is getting lower from that needle that you can adjust, then that means stormy weather is usually headed your way. If you notice that the barometric pressure is increasing from that needle you can adjust, that means that nice weather is usually headed your way. And one last thing, when it comes to hurricanes or any kind of tropical system, you'll hear meteorologists reference the atmospheric pressure or the barometric pressure or the air pressure in that storm a lot. And that's because that is a very good indicator of whether the storm is strengthening or weakening. The lower the pressure gets, the more powerful the storm can be. The higher the pressure gets, the weaker the storm usually is. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Don't forget, if you have a weather-related question, just drop them in the comment section on this video, and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Weather101Net. Until next time, see ya!